Hi, I'm Jean Schumacher, and I'm founder of Simply Plant Based, where I have a lot of programs to help you to change your health destiny. And today I talk about the trifecta approach. The trifecta approach is where you have to change what goes in, so that's food and drink. You have to change what goes on, so that's personal care products and the environmental toxins you're being exposed to, and then you got to exercise. So those are the, what I call the big three that you really have to focus on to change your health. And so today I have Alana Blakely, who's also a consultant at Peer Haven. And I just thank you so much for taking the time to be with me here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. It's always great when we get together and chat. I know. We always learn. I always learn, you know, something. Yeah. So bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you something. Tis the season. Tis the season. <laughs> I know, right? My husband and I, we went camping up in Maine. And I don't know, we were in the Northern Woods or the North Woods, whatever you want to call them. Like we were like off Way the grid, <laughs> off the grid. They don't even name towns. They just, they use it as a grid and they say you're the, where you are is T4, F5. I mean, that's like, oh, wow. there's no names for the towns. It's, they name it by the grid. Wow. So we were at way out in the middle of nowhere. And I think the insects up there only have like this short time span to live. <laughs> so they like come out with a vengeance. Uh, and so when we went up there, oh my God, I mean, we got attacked. It was like, oh, fresh meat. I can imagine. <laughs> and we had such awful bug bites. Thank goodness for boo boo stick. That's all I can say. But I mean, you've got to have some kind of bug spray. And there yeah. were times when we would forget, you know, our bug spray and, and I would be so angry at my husband's like, oh, you forgot to bring that. Oh my God. You know? So like we'd, we'd be out hiking or something like that and we would get attacked, honestly. Yeah. So, I mean, but the problem with most of the bug sprays is they contain a lot of chemicals that are really, really toxic to us and the environment as well. Yeah. Very scary. I think the biggest one that comes to my mind is D. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, we used to think, oh, it's such a great ingredient. It's going to keep them away. And I think that marketing does such a great push on all of the things they want you to know or want you to see or that it's solving a problem. Right. But what we're you know, finally learning is that all these chemicals, like you said, it's harmful to you, the environment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then there's even neurological disorders that could be triggered. I think I've mentioned before that my dog has epilepsy. And so individuals, you know, people that have that same disorder deep could be an interference to that. Mm -hmm. So that's really scary. And I think that finding a bug spray like Pure Haven has created to have some of those things, or like you had mentioned, making your own with some of the essential oils that we have. Yeah. So important, so important. Yeah, well, there was a 2013 analysis of about 4,000 DEET-related phone calls to Poison Control Center. And they found that, of, that 450 out of those 4,000 needed medical treatment after applying DEET to die. And yeah. most of the cases involved seizures, slurred speech, coma, and other serious side effects that occurred from people who had ingested or applied it like three or more days in a row. Like we were out camping. I mean, like, yeah. like we like literally bathed in not this, not deep, but like in our, my, my insect repellent spray. I mean, we were like dousing ourselves like every like few minutes. Can you imagine like, you know, if you're applying it like three days in a row that. Well, Cause you would when you're out there camping, why wouldn't right. you be doing that? And for little right. children, little bodies that have, you know, not as much, I guess, processing ability to push all those chemicals out, right. overloading them with something like that. And I know, at least for me, some of them that we've used, you know, in the past years ago, I would get immediate headaches just from having it on. And so it was always a toss up. Do you want to get bit or do you want the bug spray on? Like, uh, I want to take my chances, you know, I know right? because maybe I'll just, you know, not itch the bug bite. But again, thank goodness for boo-boo stick. Right. You, you got a problem solver there. But yeah, it well, is scary. It is. And there's, there's a bunch of other ingredients too as well. 
you know, yeah. that, are, that are in the insect repellent. Because if it's keeping insects away from you, uh, what do you think it's going to be doing, to, you know, for the chemicals? That's a great question. So you know, I made my doing? own, I created my own insect repellent spray. So I used, I bought these, I found these four ounce spray bottles on Amazon. So I bought a whole set of those and then I made my own. And this fills perfectly the four ounce bottle that I found with a little sprayer on it. Yeah. And, it, and I used two ounces of distilled water. I used one ounce of witch hazel or you could use vodka. Okay. Yep. 20 drops of eucalyptus essential oils, 25 drops of peppermint essential oils, mm -hmm. 15 drops of tea tree essential oils, 10 drops of lemon essential oils, and then one teaspoon of jojoba oil. And I mix that together in that spray bottle and I would carry that with me, you know, and spray it on my clothing, my skin, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, just make sure you just don't spray it in your eyes, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and if you're dealing with children, you want to make sure you spray it on their clothing, not directly on their skin. Yeah. I made my own, but I know Pure Haven has one too. Right. They like to simplify things for us a lot. I feel <laughs> I used to make a bug spray and every now and then I do just to put on my dog a little bit different, but it's so great to have a natural bug spray that works. And I think when I was making my own, people would ask me, well, could you, could you make it for me too? And, and I was hesitant because, well, it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for you. I mean, I'm making it for me, but with Pure Havens coming out, I'm a little bit more like, yes, it works great. You know, I have noticed that sometimes you see them hover, but they don't stick around, you know? Yeah. And of course, with DEET or those other chemicals or the fragrance, of course, they're going to have a, a larger parameter away from you because chemicals, you know, to have the natural product where it's safer to apply, it's not as risky. And like you said, I like to apply it on the clothing because if it's in the summer and you're hiking and you're getting sweaty and gross or dirty or, right, you know, you get wet a little bit from walking through a puddle or something, at least it's on your clothes that's still on you to kind of right. keep those bugs away. So. Well, another thing that he came out with is what's called the bug off candle, which oh, is I love awesome. It. Oh my God. I love well, it. Yeah, I know. But the, some of the problems with scented candles, most of them are made of paraffin and these can eliminate toxins. Because first of all, paraffin is a chemically bleached petroleum byproduct. And when you burn the paraffin, it pollutes your air. Yeah. So, and it also, like if you, when you're burning it, there's also other things like, you know, other chemicals like benzene that's in there. And you just don't want those in your environment. So yeah. lighting, you know, candles in an unventilated space could lead to many, many problems, aggravate asthma, could cause allergy-like symptoms and or irritate your respiratory system. I was just going to say, I think that's a, a, the biggest concern is your air pollution within your home or right. within the environment that you're burning a candle. And certainly if you have a compromised respiratory system, oh. you know, COPD, allergies, asthma, right. things like that, it's going to cause even more inflammation in your airways and making it more difficult, you know? Right. Um, so it's so fantastic to have a, a candle that right. is got all the good stuff in it, you know? Well, it, well, it doesn't have the bad. I mean, another right. issue with candles, and I have noticed, I don't know if you've ever gone like by the Bed Bath & Beyond or I think that's it, in the mall. And the mm. smell coming out of those, like, I, I, like every once in a while I'll go into one of those stores. I can't stay in there long because the, the chemical smell um, it's a headache. It, yeah, I have to leave the store. Like yeah. my daughter used to love to get stuff from there, but I couldn't stand going into the store because it just the, the smells of all the yeah. the perfumes in whatever they use. Well, so I got to tell you a story. My youngest one actually had like an allergic reaction from going into a store like that, and we had known she had sensitivities, mm -hmm. and someone for Christmas had given, you know, my husband a gift and it was a candle and I'm like, Oh, well, we don't use these. So I thought I would just exchange it for like a plate that you can put 
you know, our Pure Haven candles on or something. And I brought her in and she had never been in. And we weren't in the store five minutes. And I literally had put the candle that I was waiting in line just to do uh, an exchange. And I just left the candle on the counter and the manager had noticed. And I picked up my daughter like a football and we ran out of the store because she just looked at me and she's like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And then she's like, I'm feeling really itchy, mom. And I'm really itchy on, on my body too. And I, she was two and I lifted up wow. her shirt and she had hives all <gasps> over her torso. And I picked her up and I ran her out of the store and the manager oh and one other sales associate was like, what can we do? And my husband's a firefighter. So I kind of texted him and I said, Hey, this is where I'm at. I'm going to let her get fresh air, but I might be calling you, you know, can I make it, you know, to like a, a place to get, you know, like a chewable Benadryl to get in her or does she need an EpiPen? Those were the things that were starting to go through my head of right. this allergic reaction while we're waiting for maybe an ambulance to come. And we were lucky. I, you know, was able to get her out of the store. And as soon as she started getting the fresh air, we sat on the, the bench within a few minutes, she started to seem a little bit more coherent. And we did end up continuing on to the, the store just um, a few doors down. I got a Benadryl just to give it to her anyway, just to keep the body going. And but That's it was scary. from being in that store, all the fragrances, all the smells, she <laughs> couldn't handle it. Yeah, well, perfumes can contain any number of up to 3,000 or more ingredients, many yeah. of which are unregulated and potentially toxic. I mean, some of these fragrance contain phthalates. These are endocrine disruptors and are, these are substance and other substances known to cause cancer and disrupt, you know, your hormones. Yes. What possibly go wrong, you know? And one other thing that, that most, can, a lot of candles have is the wicks themselves. So it, the wicks sometimes have lead that's yeah. inside of them. So that's crazy. I know. Well, you don't think about this being released or burning into the air, but if you're breathing lead, Houston, first of all, it's bioaccumulative lead, and then mm -hmm. it can cause a lot of issues. Uh, don't yeah. even get me started on lead because our lead poisoning. Oh my gosh, yeah. so bad. Yeah, it's, you know, in, admitting those carcinogens right in into the air, and then you're just breathing them, and right. they're going inside your body with the soft tissue, the tissue just absorbs it, you know, right. like a sponge. Right. So very harmful to your breathing, you know. Oh, absolutely. Well, the bug off candle doesn't have; it uses soy instead of paraffin. Okay. Yep. And then the perfume that you smell, or the the scent of it, is essential oils. So there's yeah. no perfumes in there. There's no chemicals that are going to cause issues. And hey, we don't use lead in the wicks. We, you know, we just have a cotton wick. Just saying. Okay. Right. Right. So. And the burn time is so comparable because I think it's not a bunch of filler. It's actually got the core stuff that you need, so it burns comparable time. No. Even though it's, you know, maybe a little bit smaller, it still does the same burning hours. Of well, I think I've, I've gotten about 20 hours burning yeah. time, you know, yeah. out of my candles before I have to like go, okay, we're done. Yeah. So. And I get right to the very end, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. No, but it's nice to have those. Like when you're sitting out, we have a deck outside and I love to sit outside, you know, especially around twilight zone, yeah. you know, that twilight time and, you know, and all of a sudden the bugs, you know, it's like, whoo. They, I don't know, like, where do they go for the daytime? You know, like, where are they going? I don't know. But, but last they... night we were out there and fun entertainment during this time. We had our candle going on our little table and you see the bats start coming out. And we're all up there looking like, ooh, ah, like it's fireworks. And the bats were eating the mosquitoes that were like all around, but they weren't bothering us. <laughs> but I'm like, here we are. Entertainment 2020. Watch right? the bat beat the mosquitoes. <laughs> right? And not yeah. around you. And not right? around you. So. Yeah. So fun. All right. So we've got three things. The you can make your own uh, bug spray. Uh -huh. that Pure Haven has that, and we also have the candle. So, yeah. all right, we got you covered. Good trio. Yeah. Well, Alana, thank you so much for taking the time to be with me here today. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for having me.